Hi, this is Heather with the Five Waiting Wombs, and today I'm going to be talking about surrogacy. Surrogacy is a controversial topic because of the moral, ethical, and legal questions associated with it, so that's what I'll be discussing today. I think in a lot of cases, the people who are against surrogacy are against it because they're either misinformed or maybe uneducated about the actual process. They're not aware of the various types of carriers and they're not aware of the different types of agreements between surrogates and intended parents. Um, I think that that's true for a lot of situations. I think it's easier uh, as a whole for people to be against something that, they're, that they don't know about or something that doesn't apply to them than to actually sit down and research something that really isn't that important to them. I'm pretty sure that there are some things that I don't like that if I actually took the time to research I'd find out they really aren't so bad. Information aside, there are people who have actual moral or ethical issue with the idea of surrogacy. Some people are um, have problems with the actual procedures that are used to obtain the pregnancy. Um, some people don't believe that IVF is, is, a good, is a moral way of conceiving. Some people have general um, problem with ART as it is. Um, then other people have issue because it involves a child. Um, there is a particular type of surrogacy called commercial surrogacy um, in that a surrogate mother is compensated more than just for her out-of-pocket medical, clothing, uh, living expenses, but is actually paid a fee for carrying the child. Um, so in other words, she is paid simply for carrying the child. Um, it is um, something that is actually illegal in a lot of countries. Um, it's illegal in the UK, it's illegal in Australia, and it is illegal in Canada. Um, it's also illegal in a lot of states in the United States. Um, that said, people compare um, commercial surrogacy to baby selling, which um, you know, depending on how you think about it, may or may not fall into that category, uh, but they think that it is ethically wrong. Other issues that people have with uh, surrogacy are really evident in the stigma that's associated with it. Um, there are women who are surrogate mothers um, in a traditional surrogate. Uh, a traditional surrogate um, basically has a biological tie to the child she's carrying. Um, typically she will go through artificial insemination, usually IUI or some other method of insemination um, and becomes pregnant and she is the biological mother of this child. However, she agrees and makes arrangements with the intended parents um, before conception happens that once the child is born that she will turn over her parental rights to them. Um, some people view these women as cold and callous. Um, they think, you know, that it, it's it's easy for them to just give away their child. Um, but I think um, they're looking past the the actual issue that they are giving a couple something that they wouldn't be able to have without her. Um, Another stigma, um, and this is towards the intended parents, one, um, you see it a lot in Hollywood where an actress will use a surrogate. And we never really know because people are very tight-lipped when it comes to infertility. And there's often speculation that the reason that an actress will use a surrogate is, that, is, is so she can stay fit, so she doesn't have to go through pregnancy, um, and basically for vanity. Um, that's not always the case. I'm not going to say that that never happens because that would be very naive of me, but I think that um, people don't take into consideration that surrogacy isn't an easy alternative to pregnancy. Um, another stigma that intended parents have to face is the fact that people will view them as being selfish. Um, there are people who believe that um, using a surrogate to have a biological child is selfish. Uh, because it would be just as easy in their mind um, to simply adopt. People who have considered adoption will know, anybody who's done research on adoption, that it's not an easy process. It costs a lot of money, um, it's emotionally draining, and it can take years for a successful adoption to actually take place. Um, and you also have to keep in mind that there are millions of people in this world who don't face infertility, who want biological children, who do not choose to adopt children either. Um, so just because a couple finds themselves facing infertility doesn't mean that that attitude is going to change. Not everybody is meant 
um, to adopt. It's not something that absolutely everybody can do, and that is perfectly okay. I think one of the biggest legal questions that's raised here, well, here in the U.S., is um, who has custody of that baby? When the child is born, who has the legal rights to that child? I say here in the U.S. because in a lot of other countries, the parental rights always lie with a surrogate. And in many, many states in the United States, it's the same thing, but there are some states where it's kind of in a gray area. So, and then the question comes up, can the surrogate mother change her mind? And in many, many cases, yes, she can. Um, she can in many cases here in the U.S. And again, in other countries where the parental rights lie with the surrogate, she absolutely can change her mind, even if she has no um, biological connection to that child. And I think that that is something that people don't realize. I think people think that just because um, she's not biologically that child's mother, that she has no rights to that child. And that's not the case. Um, I think that that, when people realize that, um, I think that it's scary for people to think of. So, you know, we can go through all of these steps, and then she can change her mind at the last moment. It is important to know Though a surrogate can change her mind, that generally surrogates go into the whole process with the idea that they're going to be carrying a child for somebody else. And the chance of them actually changing their mind is very slim. Surrogacy is different from adoption in that regard. Um, a lot of times with adoption, um, birth parents, um, the birth mothers, are, are find themselves pregnant um, with an unintended pregnancy, um, they're scared, they don't know what to do, and so they, they find adoption as an option. And then later on, further in the pregnancy, or even sometimes after they've given birth, they realize that, you know what, this is something that I really want to do. I want to raise my child on my own. Um, and so they change their mind then. With a surrogate, um, the mindset is completely different. Often they already have children of their own, and this is something that they want to do for somebody else. Um, so the actual risk of a surrogate mother changing her mind is incredibly low. Also, surrogate mothers generally go, go through a screening process before they're approved to be surrogates for various agencies um, and organizations who actually provide surrogate mothers to couples looking for someone to carry their child for them. I really think that surrogacy is something that people should educate themselves on if it's something that you're considering and even if it's just something that interests you. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of links below that will give information on surrogacy, on the, various, on the different types of carriers and on the different types of uh, surrogate arrangements. Um, also, I'm going to leave some of the legal information below, links to the legal information below on the countries that I mentioned, um, UK, Canada, um, Australia, and the US. Um, I know that there are other countries, and I know that there are many of you who watch from other countries. Um, so what I'm going to ask is for you, if you have any of that information, if you have links to information from other from other areas, either send me a private message with that information or leave it in the comments below and I will actually add it to the description box so we can have like a list of resources for other viewers. Um, also, I'd really like to encourage anyone who has personal experience with surrogacy, um, if you are a surrogate, if you are trying to become a surrogate, um, or if you are a couple who has used a surrogate or is looking for a surrogate, um, I'd like to encourage you to actually post a video response and talk about your experience. Um, you know, if you already make videos or if you are looking to get into videos, um, we'd really like to hear your stories. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.